There are witches and trolls out there, my friends, and not the type that you can give a candy to and send them along their way. No, no, no. These are the types that leave negative reviews and comments on your social media platforms and websites. In this video, I'm going to share with you six best practices that will hopefully make them go away. Hey, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Welcome to this week's episode, and it's how to deal with negative reviews and comments left by, well, trolls, for lack of a better word. And I know you're going to like these six best practices. And speaking of like, please like the video, leave us a comment, and share it. Okay, let's get into this. So first of all, if you're on Facebook, well, Facebook, you've got control. You can easily delete a comment and using the finger of your choice, unfriend that person. Now, yes, you can get into a debate and yes, you can comment and reply back and yes, it will go on forever. Keep this in mind. When you roll in the mud with a pig, the pig's happy, you get dirty. That's what happens. And in the context of Facebook, the same thing is true. If you keep throwing fuel on this fire, that thread will continue. More people will get involved. The easiest thing to do, delete that the, the comment, unfriend that person, move on. You've got better things to do with your time. But when you're dealing with websites like review sites, ones that you don't have immediate control over, here are some things to keep in mind. Six best practices. So number one is contact the review site directly. Find out who the admin is and reach out. If this is an unwarranted comment, and especially if it's from somebody you haven't done business with, plead your case to the admin person and hopefully they'll remove that comment, that thread, and make that person go away. Point number, number next is familiarize yourself with the culture of that site. Go through some previous threads, get a feel of what's going on, and see if that person, that one that left you the negative comment, is doing it repeatedly with other people. Once again, reach out to the admin person, let them know what's going on hopefully they'll boot that person out and take care of that comment that thread point number next is join in on the conversation obviously you want to de defend yourself but keep this in mind don't do it in anger when you see a negative comment a negative review don't automatically jump in there with your reply write it out first in word or on a piece of paper i know that's old school write it down first walk away for a couple hours, then come back. It's amazing what happens when cooler heads prevail. Because if you reply right away, what you think you're replying and what's actually happening can be two different things. Because in your brain, you're playing out this hate narrative in response to what somebody's done to you. They've hurt you. Write it down first, walk away, come back a couple hours later, then take a look at what you wrote. Chances are you'll want to modify it. Point number next, highlight the positive. I know what you're saying, Michael, what's the positive from a negative review? Well, let's go back a step. Was that review warranted? Meaning, did you miss out on something? Did you not deliver what you promised you would do? Was that a warranted comment, but you're taking it personally? If so, what can you do to win them back? And I usually tell my students, especially when it comes to video, own it, get over it, move on. So own that comment, get over it by replying to it in a positive way, and then move on with your life. Don't dwell on this stuff. Number five, or sorry, the point number next, which would be, uh, yep, point number five, encourage positive reviews. If, you've, if you're producing good content, if you're you know, providing good service, you've earned the right to ask for something in return. That's called reciprocity. Ask for positive review, reviews, ask for positive feedback. If you do, chances are you will get what you asked for because you've earned it. And point number next, the last one, number six, develop a strategy for responding to negative threats. So rather than just go off the top your head and so I'm going to do this, that, and the other thing, write it down chronologically what the points are involved with responding to a negative threat. And this is something you can hand off to an admin person or something you can handle yourself. But when you have that checklist, let's think about it this for a second. Pilots, when they get into a plane, they have a pre-flight checklist. Even though they know how to fly the plane, they have a checklist. They go through everything to make sure they've addressed everything that needs to be done. When it comes to handling negative comments and reviews, the same thing is a best practice. Have a list, a checklist of things that you can review to make sure that you've handled everything according to plan. So there are six best practices. I hope you can apply them to your business. And please leave us a comment with any experience that you've had with trolls and how you've dealt with them. Until next time, it's Michael Creasy here, Executive Editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Look forward to hearing your comments and feedback.